friend Steph here from Classy Lady Yarn Works. I am a crochet designer on a mission to help my fellow yarn addicts express yourselves with stitches, which is really just my fancy way of saying that I like to put words like shit and damn onto home decor. So if that's something that interests you, you can find my links in the description below. And um, today I am coming at you with a tutorial on how to link a cluster stitch to a linked double crochet. So I use this stitch in the pattern for my mood swing pillow. Um, on one side it says love yourself, on the other side it says go fuck yourself. So it's just depending on your mood. <laughs> if you want to check out that pattern again you can find those links below. Now. I'm showing you this because I use this technique for that pillow and uh, writing letters. So this will make a lot more sense if you're coming at this from that pattern. Otherwise this is just a stitch that you can play with. Um, it's just kind of fun to do. Frankly I love linked stitches anyway and um, if you're trying to write things with raised stitches or you know make designs with raised stitches this is a really great way to do that and still keep your fabric tighter. So I'm using Brava Sport Weight um, and Seraphim today. This is a Knit Picks slash We Crochet yarn. If you like that, it's really pretty dusty, kind of lavender. And then my super awesome Purple Girls Odyssey. I love this hook so much. All right, so I already have a row of linked double crochets. If you need to know how to do those, I have a tutorial on that. I will link below. And uh, right now, I'm going to show you how I link a triple cluster stitch to this double crocheted stitch. So, here we go. All right. Just like the linked double crochet, we're going to start by inserting our hook into the uh, sidebar of the last stitch we were in. Let me go back so you can see that sidebar. So I'm going to insert into that sidebar, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next working stitch, yarn over, pull through. And then I'm just like a normal uh, cluster, I'm only going to yarn over and pull through two one time. I'm going to leave that stitch or that loop, sorry, on my hook. And then I'm going to continue as normal with a cluster. So I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, one more. I'm doing a triple yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Again, standard cluster stitch from that point. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four. So what that did is link the beginning of this cluster to that last stitch. So those are together now. You don't have a big gap in between. Now, if I want to go back and switch back into link double crochet, I'm going to work into the sidebar of this third uh, stitch in that cluster. So I'm going to come into that sidebar, which you'll notice the sidebar on those cluster stitches is a little bit more diagonal, but that's okay. Just find that, just find that stitch that, or that loop that runs across the outside of that last stitch in the cluster. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through that sidebar, and then I'm going to go back into a double crochet. Yeah, I'm going to insert my next hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that linked this cluster stitch on either side so I don't have a gap in between here. I don't link the stitches within the cluster because they're already pretty tight. So I'm going to go ahead and come back up, take this up to the next row so that I can show you what I do when I'm working multiple clusters in a row. I'm going to slow down here and I'm going to do, I'm going to link the beginning and the end of a group of clusters. So again, I use this in my, a lot of my pieces for um, color work. Right now I'm just doing it with these you know, 
the same color yarn so you can see what I'm talking about. But anyway, so I'm going to work a group of clusters. I only link the first cluster and the last when I do a group. So I'm going to link this first one. Let me just back up myself up again. So again, I'm going to go into the sidebar of that last stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then I'm going to start into a double or a triple cluster. So yarn over, pull through two, leave those on, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now I've got three loops. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. Now I've got those four loops. I'm gonna finish off that cluster. I do not connect cluster to cluster because these are already so such a thick stitch. I just don't bother to connect to that. So I'm just gonna continue on and make another triple cluster here. One more. And then I'm going to switch back to my double crochets. So just like on this past row, I'm going to insert into the sidebar on that last um, stitch within the cluster. Yarn over, pull through. Insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now I have three cluster stitches and I have linked the first one and the last one so that I don't have big gaps in between those stitches. And it just kind of stays, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for, congruent? I don't know. The same throughout the, throughout the piece and we don't end up with the gaps everywhere. Um, which is the beauty of linking stitches. Anyway, so if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I will be happy to help in any way that I can. And if you found this helpful, please do feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me to keep producing content that I know is helpful to you. And other than that, you guys keep doing you and I will see you next time.